and he will be plus to handle high pop as soon as he emerges governor of Anambra State. <laughs> well, since Abga and Ubiano are weak and docile, he is optimistic and becoming the next governor of Anambra State, despite that Abga is more popular than APC in Anambra State. The defections of incumbent deputy governor of Anambra State, Nkem Okeke, Senator Stella Odua, and some Abga lawmakers to APC, make him feel that Anambra people are ready to embrace APC. That describes the mood of Senator Andy Uba, the APC candidate in the November 6th Guba election. Why other political leaders in the state are worried about the recent order given by IPOP? Uba is confident that the election will be we hold and it will emerge victorious. According to Guardian newspaper, Andy Uba has a plan on how to handle IPOP once he becomes governor of the state adding that incumbent governor Willie Obiano and the Abga government are docile and weak. This will form the basis of our discussion in the ongoing talk. How does he plan to handle IPOP once he becomes governor? Some people believe that part of the reason some youth are agitating in the southeast is because they are unemployed and Andy Uba plans to tackle the issue of IPOP from that angle. He believes that Abga and Governor Obiano are weak and that is why they cannot initiate a discussion with the secessionist group to resolve the issue once and for all. However, some people will, disgrace with, will disagree with Uba and his proposed approach because the issue of agitation in the Southeast is far beyond the unemployment crisis. It has more to do with the alleged marginalization of the Southeast, which many youth in Igbo land believe is more pronounced under the current APC led federal government. Why some Igbo leaders believe that dialogue is the way forward to bring lasting peace in the Southeast. The federal government under President Buhari appears not to be ready for such now. However, we wait. To see if Andy Uba's strategy to handle agitations in the southeast will work if he becomes the governor. Okay, mm. saying that uh, Governor Obiano and Abga and those who have been there, they are so weak. That is why they cannot tackle it because he believes that it's as a result of unemployment. That is why these guys are just coming out to say this. Of course, they are playing to the gallery. Let's even assume, let's agree that uh, the reason why the agitation is so tense and high is as a result of a uh, unemployment you think even if he gets there he's going to look at their face forget these are political statements that is how they always do all the promises that the politicians have been making right from time immemorial how many of them have they fulfilled once they get there they will not begin to tell you oh i never knew that this problem is as uh, big as this oh i never knew i almost ran just like Barry said and that is why some of them that will not even say anything they'll begin to say oh eh, we are just trying to meet up this we did not have we didn't see any money in the coffer of the the government's coffer uh this and this and that they have looted and before you know it they will start to chase the former administration be somebody who led the former administration they will not begin to talk about corruption so that you be like, oh wow! So we didn't know that uh, these guys were really stealing money. Oh, if this guy, if they had stolen money, so this new person that that has come in, how do you expect him to work? Everybody will not. Ah, this one thief is a lie. Is a strategy. No, we are not making excuses that uh, those ones uh, wouldn't have done one or two things, or they wouldn't have dipped their hand inside the cookie jar. Mm -mm, we are not saying that. But they will come and be telling you a manner of stories, giving you one thousand and one reasons why they cannot do, or they cannot fulfill their promises. That is how they do. This one is talking. Pia, 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 pia. Eh, I will do this. Why is it that you cannot talk to the government of the at the center which you belong, Andy? Talk to the government at the center. Say, let there be a dialogue, not until when you get there. To me, it's just a political statement. Is making the way the same way they have been deceiving Nigerians. I believe that Andy Uba may have seen it all since the return of democracy in Nigeria. President Buhari is the most hated president by majority of Igbos despite denying him your votes. In terms of physical development, the Igbo should appreciate Mr. President for what he has done to put down Igbo 
to put down in Igbo land. The country belongs to all of us. No one zone should have it all. But is that how it is? Democracy is about partnership, negotiations, and mobilization. You must be able to appreciate others and agree to partner for the benefit. The PDP, which is the bride of most Igbos, can you categorically point out any project that is commiserate to the support of the Igbos to the PDP in Igbo land? Forget all those rubbish, all those other nonsense, because is this his personal money? It's not his personal money. Now, people are always talking about a project, projects that we cannot even see. So, does it mean there's nothing that has happened apart from until well, this is the same propaganda that they have been using? So, since Nigeria became what it is or became a country. So nothing has been done until when Buhari came on board. Those are the propaganda they always use. Now, people were, people to a very large extent, even when Nigerians were complaining, now they cannot see that, yes, they were even enjoying in those complaints in, during the time of PDP. That those who are not alive, those who cannot even go to their farms to do their work, those who are just traveling and they are now victims of all this. Uh, a, a bandit and this kidnappers. So is that the kind of life you know? You give Peter to Peter to rob Paul, which I don't even. I'm not even seeing any development they are even talking about because at the end of the day, the overall development in this country is zero. We are not seeing anything. Are we? Are we progressing or we are retrogressing? Because people just be telling you, eh, this and this and this and this and that. Eh, eh what is it called project? Which rubbish project? I don't understand. Ha, I don't understand the way people reason. You know. People are dying. He does not want to say anything about it. People is people are making life unbearable for the masses. He say not saying anything. And you are talking about projects. So those who have died, or those victims, or the families, family members of those who have died, you think they are happy? I don't understand these people. Well, keep writing. Mm, you just end up writing rubbish. Partner in words form. Okay, to allow your Janjaweed terrorist brothers to occupy Igbo land. That is the partnership they are talking about. We can see all of those things, but some people say, no, it does not matter. That it doesn't matter. The worst thing that can happen to the people of Anambra is Andy Uba becoming their governor. Yes. It is better for IPOP to allow the election to hold in Anambra peacefully and free other words of APC. We install their candidates come November 6, 2021. That is what I feel too. It will make rigging super easy for APC. The people can't withstand another eight years of and anything that looks like this current administration. And that is it. So guys, let's hear your opinion and know your thoughts on this.